U.S. President kicked off the second summit for democracy by announcing $690 million in new funding for democracy programs across the world. The summit, which started on Wednesday and co-hosted by Zambia along with South Korea, Costa Rica, and Netherlands, comes amidst rising concerns about democratic backsliding in countries participating in it. We're going forward from this summit. Our job is to keep building on our progress so we don't start heading in the wrong direction again. To keep the momentum going, this is a turning point for our world toward greater freedom, greater dignity, and greater democracy. Biden invited 121 leaders for his second largely virtual summit for democracy. After criticism that the first summit was too U.S.-focused, Biden tapped leaders on each continent as co-hosts. U.S. Is the one of is the oldest democracies that we have, so which means that we can also learn not only from the good side but also for the challenges that they're having. You know, so I just think that uh, it's a good reference. You know, we are not looking for the uh, let me say the the perfect system, but we are looking at the system where we can definitely uh, kind of uh, learn. You know? For me, the way I look at the U.S. The U.S. is always an ally for Africa. It depends on how your government actually relates with the U.S. So for economic purposes and growth, I think if our democracy is strengthened more, we may have the benefits of these other countries coming to support us. The U.S. funding will back programs to stage free elections, advance independent media and strengthen action against corruption and follows a commitment of $424 million offered at the first summit.